Okay, so, um, what's up, everyone? Um, <laughs> I'm in a way better mood than I am, and if you, like, hear any background noises, that's my freaking fan, <laughs> because although it's October, it's still hot as fuck outside, <laughs> but, um, like, I've seen, like, WWE 13, I mean, I've seen the fan axis, and I seen a video of the the wrestlers and stuff and I mean I was like 50 50 I was like eh because eh. I seen some of the you know old wrestlers I used to use back in you know during No Mercy and all that but I don't know I just hate that I'm a hard 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 ass person to impress I mean maybe back then I was easy to impress but like today it's like not a lot of things impress me so it's like eh <laughs> but um what do you guys think about the the 21 real characters personally the only time that I fully had fan access is when a friend bought it I mean um bought it and then allowed me to log on and um download it <sighs> but um other than that, I've never thought of buying the full pack. I just don't never thought it was worth it. Like, obviously, I needed to buy um, all the divas on WW12 because some of the entries that I really needed, and well, that was only the main reason. I just needed some of their entrances, and it kind of sucks that when you buy DLC characters, you can't really edit their entrance, and you have to go with the full thing. Like, if you want to just go with one part, you can't do that. You have to go with everything that they come out to instead of being able to edit it and split it up and just only like using one or two parts or whatever Ooh, excuse me but um are you guys so far impressed with everything they've shown like you know whatever they've shown personally not personally I'm not um uh yeah, personally, I'm not really, like, in, impressed with everything. I'm just like, ugh. I hate, like I said before, I really hate, 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 hate being a person that's hard to impress because, I don't know. Now, I mean, the pictures and stuff, and, well, the only one, only ones in this DLC pack that, I would probably like buy or consider is like Rikishi, Too Cool, um, I don't really know much about AJ other than that, well supposedly she's um, over hyped or, um, what's that word, um, over, I don't know, she's, I don't know, They. I, I, she's just too much I guess, I don't know, um, Val Venus, and I like Val Venus obviously because Val Venus, Rikishi, Goldust, and Too Cool obviously because of the attitude air. <laughs> so, uh, that's the only ones I'm really like really okay with. Not impressed, but okay with. But just kind of, kind of disappointed at the fact that, um, well, just kind of the fact that, um, there's nothing. I just want to see car mode, man. <laughs> now, maybe if they show something on car mode and, and the create arena and all that, then maybe they might catch my eyes, man. Because I hate, you know, to feel like I'm beating this game down. And people coming at me being like, you beating it down before it's out. And you can't judge it before it's out. Well, DQ games are, in my opinion, in my opinion, DQ games are really, 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 really easy to judge because we already know what to expect from game after game after game after game. We already know they're going to add little pieces or bring something back, little pieces in the game or bring something back that they previously took out of said other games and call it new when we know it's not new. Yet, somehow people get excited for that. You shouldn't be getting excited for shit returning in the game when it should have stayed in the game in the first place, you know, to, instead of taking shit out of the game, it should just improve upon what they have currently in the last game and just add on more to that. Like, being able to fight in a crowd and we can, apparently we can break the barricade, but we can't fight in a crowd. 
That's crazy. Yeah, people are just impressed with that little part of them you being able to break the barricade when in previous games you were able to actually fight in the crowd. And if you don't didn't know that, then maybe you need to play some of the more earlier SmackDown games and games on uh, GameCube and blah blah blah. You were able to actually go backstage, you know, and fight backstage. AKA Back in No Mercy, which is another game that DQ published. It's a shame how much they've how much the their should I say talent <laughs> has dwindled and they just have so many people. I don't know. I don't know. This is a, this is a thing that kills me. It's like if you have a disagreement about this game or you don't agree with everyone or I mean you don't agree with everyone else about you know the content or um, just being generally hyped for the game, then you're automatically branded a hater, which is fucking crazy because the people that you know, say the negative stuff about it, obviously want to see, obviously are seeing right through DQ's fakeness and obviously want improvement upon the games and not just little pieces added into it or shit put back into the game, call it new. People don't want that shit. People want improvements. And if, if they were to work on this game for at least two years, that would give them way enough time to do what they need to do upon improving upon the series and shit. We all know why they changed the um, title to just WWE 13 and WWE 12 because during 2012, ugh, damn, <laughs> during 2011, they actually lost, you know, money during for that game. So they decided, oh, and they were losing, oh, but hold on, let me see, let me recap. Okay, the reason they were losing, they were losing money because 2011 didn't do that good and, um, their pay-per-views wasn't doing that good and they decided to start fresh so that's when they start naming it WWE 12 and 13 and blah 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 but um I just like the fact that the the, the, the wrestlers from the um Attitude Era which is the best wrestling era ever um in my opinion now like I said before it's in my opinion so if you don't like it oh well you don't have to agree because it's not a fact it's an opinion but in my opinion um the Attitude Era was the best era of wrestling. It was like all Hulk. Ugh. I'm messing up so much. It was hardcore. It was like just no holes barred. And I just like, I was looking at videos before they started taking shit down because of somebody being sensitive. I was looking back at videos and I was like, like at some of the videos I used to watch and I used to say, um, wow, I really watched that when I was this age and that age and stuff like that. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> but you know, uh, they had to go this whole PG route, which is the stories are supposedly getting stale, and I wouldn't be surprised if WWE went in the ground within the next two, three years, or maybe during this year, <laughs> but, um, that's not what's bad luck on them or nothing, but, uh, maybe they'll have them opening hours or something more, and I heard that WWE 13 is supposed to be DQ's last time publishing this game. So, I don't know what's going to happen after that. And I say good riddance because if it's handed off to somebody else, maybe they'll do a way better job than they have been doing. Think you have been doing since forever. Since. I mean, it's, it's not a good thing. Like I said before, it's not a good thing to take, you know, to take shit out and then bring it back and call it new. And then, like, the idiots are getting, I hate to say idiots, but I'm going to say idiots are getting excited about stuff. I should have stayed in the game. Like Color Wheel, for example. People are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Color Wheel. Yeah, back in the game. Yeah, all right. Like, dude, that is nothing to be excited about. Yeah, it's good to have it back in the game, but it's nothing to really be excited about when they should have kept it in the game in the first fucking place. You took it out, came 2012. Wait a minute. No, 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 sorry. They took it out in 2010. No, 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 no. Okay, it's a, sorry. It took it out in 2011 and then 2012. Now they're bringing it back. So basically, it was in 2010. They took it out in 2012, 2011. It's like when they do stupid shit like that, it's like they want people to complain. Be like, oh, we want this back in the game. As soon as they be like, we got it back in the game, everybody like, yeah. I don't know. It's like they're playing games with us or something, dude. This shit is crazy. Like, really crazy. I hate being played with. That's why I'm like one of the few that's not falling into all this hype and stuff like that. And there hasn't been really anything that has impressed me. And somehow I get the feeling that I'm not, I'm going to be freaking disappointed at combos. I feel like, because they haven't said anything about that 
that area of the game, and I just feel like it's going to be the same bullshit from 2010, 2011, and blah, blah, blah. It's going to be the same thing, ain't nothing changed, and maybe a few clothing items, pieces added or whatever in the game, and that's it. But other than that, it's not going to be anything to freaking and like make us go like wow or anything like that but um this is crazy this is the character i thought val venus was pretty hot back then so um screw you guys if you don't <laughs> but seriously um dq need to get their acts together but like i said before you guys tell me um if everything they've shown all together has impressed you or you're like in the middle like me you're like eh, and like you're okay with some things and you're like eh, uh, eh. but yeah that's it um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting and if you're gonna comment on my video please come at me in a rational manner because I have no problem and I mean no problem blocking people once I get my word in it blows the hell out of me how people think they can just come come at you, just start cussing, and then when you return the favor or you say something like, um, you need to cool down or whatever, they're like, they're, like they just start going all crazy and shit, and that shit is like really, 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 really annoying as fuck. So if you're gonna come at me, come at me in a rational manner, you know, actually just you know talking it out and discussing, and not just being like fuck you, you're stupid and blah blah blah, like. You know, the moment you start cussing somebody out when you don't even know who they are, you don't know their personality or anything like that, the moment you lost a freaking, um, the moment you've lost that conversation, you might as well stop. So anyway, um, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and leave some comments, dislikes, doesn't make a difference, as long as y'all clicking on this video and giving it views, so, uh.